Hey, my name is Matt, and in this video I want to teach you how to use artificial intelligence to write paragraphs that incorporate SEO keywords and SEO concepts. And to do this, we're going to use an AI template called Paragraphs from Keywords. We're going to use this template in a tool called Phrase. You'll need a Phrase subscription, and preferably you'll need an AI SEO add-on for this. You can find both in the link in the description below. Now, once you have Phrase open, you want to create a new document. And inside your document, you want to click AI Write, and then go to the Community Template section. Now we're looking for a template that I made and you can find all my templates with the letters RT in brackets. And the template we're looking for is paragraphs from keywords. There it is down here, paragraphs from keywords. You'll open it up and you'll see that there's three inputs that this template expects. The first input is a higher level concept and this is usually your H1. In this instance, we're gonna use how to take care of a new puppy. And the sub concept is usually your H2. So buy the necessary supplies. Now. I have another template that would stop right there. It's called Paragraphs from Scratch, and it just takes a higher level concept and a sub-concept. And then the AI just kind of writes about whatever. But when you want a more guided output, or when you want the AI to write about specific concepts or specific keywords, this is the template to use. And so right here, we're gonna put in these specific keywords that we want the AI to write about. We're guiding that AI. Now I have three keywords over here that I got. One's puppy food, one's water bowls, and one's crate. Now, where did I get these from? Well, I got them from the optimized section. In the optimized section, there's top topics, which are kind of short tail keywords, and then there's also long tail keywords. And Phrase got this from crawling the SERP. When you create a document, how to take care of a new puppy or whatever your search query is, and you click run, or you click update document, Phrase will go out to Google and perform the search. And Phrase will bring in the top 20 results and then use natural language processing to analyze them. And when it's done, it will say, okay, you need to include these particular words or these particular long tails into your document in order to rank higher than the competition. So you want to find relevant keywords that would fit this particular H2. So buy the necessary supplies for taking care of a new puppy. Well, you probably need some puppy food, right? You probably need some water bowls. And then I think I pulled one from Top Topics. Uh, we're going to also need a crate. And if you don't know why uh, you'd need these things, you can click on it and see what the SERP says. Uh, at night, keep your puppy in a crate in your bedroom. So you can see, oh, okay, maybe I need to buy a crate. So you can click on these to figure out you know, why you need these particular things when you're buying the necessary supplies. Once we have all of that, we can go to our AI Write section. I'm gonna go back to our template, RT, paragraphs from keywords. There we go. So we'll put in our higher level concept and we'll put in our sub concept. And then we're gonna put in our keywords separate them by commas puppy food water bowls crate now the other thing you can adjust with any template is the creativity but this template you want to leave the creativity at level one if you raise it even to level two the ai is going to do a poor job of talking about these particular concepts it's a very specific template so we want to leave it at a creativity level of one now we're going to click run template but before i do that i want to explain this template will either write about these exact keywords or it will write about the concept behind these keywords. And I'll show you what I mean with the output. So if we don't see the exact word water bowls in the output, it doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad generation. All right, so here's our generation. Here's our keywords, puppy food, water bowls, and crates. Let's see what the AI gave us. Puppies are cute little bundles of energy who need constant attention and love. They're also expensive, so you need to buy supplies to keep them healthy and happy. The most important supplies include puppy food, water bowls for drinking, and a crate for sleeping. <laughs> puppy food, water bowls, crate. We got exactly what we wanted. Puppies should be fed at least twice daily, and they should drink enough water to stay hydrated. Water bowls should be large enough for puppies to comfortably lap water from. Crate training is essential for puppies because it teaches them to sleep alone. When buying supplies, consider the following. Size matters. Choose a crate that fits your puppy snugly. Buy quality. Look for a crate made of sturdy materials. Consider durability. Com choose a comfortable bedding material. Your puppy may not appreciate a hard surface. And it kind of goes on. So this is a really great generation. I would probably just stop right here. What you can do is instead of just pasting the whole output, you can just take what you want. So I would just take down here. And now we have some great material for buying the necessary supplies on these particular things. Again, it talked about water bowls. It talked about puppy food and it talked about a crate. Exactly what we wanted. This is a great generation. 
And the nice thing is, if you don't like what you got, you just hit load more and you, you try again. This is a great, uh, great output. Now, th that's one way to use this template, to use these, these uh, SEO keywords and concepts. Now, if you don't like that, you can just input your own keywords. So as an example, I decided to come up with just three off the top of my head. Chew toy, bedding, and dog treats. These are probably necessary supplies for a puppy. I didn't look at the optimized section first. I'm sure they're in here somewhere, but let's just have the AI write about that stuff. Chew toy, bedding, dog treats. Click run. All right, so here's the output we have. Our keywords are chew toy, bedding, and dog treats. If you're gonna buy supplies for your new puppy, be sure to get them now. Otherwise you might find yourself scrambling at the last minute when you realize that you need some items. That's a really good intro right there. The most important things to consider when buying supplies for your puppy include chewing toys. These should be safe, durable, and large enough to hold your puppy's interest. So there's our chew toy. Bedding. This should be soft, absorbent, and comfortable. Your puppy needs a place to sleep, and this should be clean and free of allergens. So there's our bedding. Dog treats. These should be healthy, nutritious, and tasty. Don't forget to pick up a treat dispenser for your puppy. And it gave us, it gave us a lot more. We didn't ask for it, but the, the AI gave us more than we even asked for. So this is great. And just like last time, you can, you can paste in as much as you want. You can paste the whole thing in, or you can just take what you want. Uh, let's see, toys, crate, collar, uh, grooming tools, and a water bowl. So there you go. We have a really, really nice output. Now let me give you some tips about using this particular template. So the first tip is this higher level concept, usually our H1, I might phrase this differently, not inside of the template, but just in my article. So in my article, I might have how to take care of a new, pu new puppy, ultimate guide for 2022. Now that all sounds great, but that's not something that I wanna use in my higher level concept. It's not necessarily something that's gonna help the AI write an output better. So I wouldn't include ultimate guide for 2022 in my, in my thing. I would just leave it as how to take care of a new puppy. Now you might say five, ways to care for a new puppy in 2022. This is another example of, of something that you might have. In this situation, I wouldn't put in the five and I wouldn't put, it, put in the in 22 into my template. I would just say ways to care for a new puppy. Because again, the more uh, useless stuff you have in there, the easier it is for the AI to become confused. You don't want that. Now, the other thing that can happen is you may not be getting good output. And if you're not getting good output, obviously look at your H1, but then also look at your subconcept. Your subconcept, depending on whatever you're, you're writing about, might not be helpful to the AI. The AI might need a little more, more help, a little bit more guidance. So as an example, if you're not getting good output, you could first try adding something to it. So buy the necessary supplies for your new puppy. And this kind of reinforces to the AI that yes, we're talking about a new puppy here. And if that doesn't work, you can try changing out your keywords. The AI is not perfect. It has a, a brain with a limited capacity and it's not very imaginative. So it can only write about things that it's virtual neurons can make connections to. So if we said, let's try it. Peanut butter, clowns, and coffee. There we go. Peanut butter, clowns, and coffee. Let's see what the AI says. So. First off, we got very little output. And the reason being is because the AI doesn't know what to do. In its, its virtual brain, peanut butter and clowns and coffee have no relation whatsoever to caring for a new puppy and then buying the necessary supplies. So it can't think outside the box like that. Just AIs can't do that. What it said was, when buying supplies for your new puppy, be sure to buy necessary items. These include food, toys, bedding, treats, leashes, collars, and training tools. If you don't buy these things, you won't get the results you're looking for. So when you're shopping for supplies, be sure to buy everything you need. Also consider su buying supplies in bulk. Buying in bulk saves money and makes it easier to find the right supplies at the right place. Price. So it didn't talk about these. And so if you're finding you're getting either short output from this or the AI is not talking about your keywords, it might be because your keywords are bad. It just can't think of things. And this is an extreme example, but in the optimized section, there is months of age. You might put that in there and the AI is just not talking about months of age. Well, that's just a limitation of AI in general. So try to play around with the different keywords if you're not getting the, the output that you want. Now, when would you use this template? What are the, the different use cases for this? I wanna show you the different templates I have 
to explain the use cases. So this template, this paragraphs from keywords kind of falls in the middle of the spectrum of my paragraphs templates. The first template is my paragraphs from scratch template. And all that needs is your H1, that high level concept in your H2, your sub concept. It doesn't need any keywords. So it gives that AI free reign to write whatever it wants about that higher level and sub concept. And that's good in one respect because it can usually give you some really long output, which is great. Now the keywords, paragraph and keywords is a little bit more guided. Now we're saying write about these specific keywords for that sub concept. So this is kind of like in the middle of the spectrum. And then on the other end of the spectrum, the super guided, the very focused and, and tailored output is gonna be the paragraphs from facts, where it's going to uh, not only take a higher level concept, but a sub concept too, and then also a couple sentences for an introduction and some di different uh, factual concepts. So that's a very guided output. When you use the paragraphs from scratch template, uh, you're not gonna get uh, really great optimized stuff. You could, but you're not gonna get really great optimized stuff. So in situations like where you wanna max this out if you don't wanna do it manually, use the paragraphs from keywords. That's a, a really great use case. The, the other time that you would wanna use the paragraphs from keywords is when you wanna hone the output. When the AI is not talking about specific things that you want it to talk about, it's not going in a direction you want, that's a great time to be using this paragraphs from keywords because you're telling the, the AI what direction you want it to go into. Maybe you're an expert in the field or you know a lot about this particular article you're writing. And so using those keywords can help it write a little bit more. Also, if you're using this paragraphs from scratch or this paragraphs, there's two versions, alt and original. If you're using these, you're not getting long output. Remember the, the short output we got when we talked about clowns and peanut butter? <clears throat> when the AI doesn't have a lot of stuff to say, it doesn't say a lot. So if you're not getting a lot of output from the paragraphs from scratch, try the paragraphs from keywords, enter in a couple relevant keywords and see if the AI output increases a little bit. You might get a little bit more output by, by kind of helping and guiding that AI a little bit. So those are the four different use cases on, on when I'd use this template. This is a really phenomenal template and I don't think enough people use it. It's really great for some awesome optimized SEO output. That about covers everything I wanted to talk about with this template. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. And be sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Every uh, subscriber counts and, and you guys mean the world to me. So please hit that like button, please subscribe and I'll make more videos. Uh, and uh, if you want a particular video made, drop that in the comments and I'll, I'll try my best to, to get that made for you. Thanks again for watching and until next time, good luck.